Welcome, Brattleboro. It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for 5.45 Live. Uh, it's on Brattleboro Community Television, which is Brattleboro's uh, only television source for uh, local programming news, updates, events, and more. And that's what we're here to do today. I'm today's host, Roland Boyd, possibly uh, host for more episodes. We're going to try and do this uh, weekdays, 5.45 p.m. is the time in question. Vermonters uh, may not be getting their electricity from uh, Vermont Yankee a whole lot longer. We don't know, but uh, that doesn't mean that nuclear power is out of the picture just yet. Green Mountain Power uh, announced yesterday that they've reached an agreement to buy power from the Seabrook nuclear plant, which is in New Hampshire, and that deal um, is scheduled to last 23 years. So uh, don't look for nuclear power to go away anytime soon. Um, and uh, by the time it's complete, the new wastewater treatment plant in Brattleboro is estimated to come in uh, at around $33 million, which is a big price tag for the taxpayers. So we got our senior news correspondent, and he's been working with Daryl uh, Pillsbury, that's Joe Bushy, our news correspondent, um, to update us on the project. And uh, technology permitting, we're going to try and beam you right back here to, uh, they're actually, to being outside the wastewater treatment plant. Thank you, Roland. This is Daryl Pillsbury along with my cameraman Joe Bushy. Joe, say hi. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, we're here for the uh, little, what we're going to do now, BCTV now is going to be having some uh, news for the folks and we think that's a great new program here at BCTV and what, one of the things we want to do is bring you some frequent updates on the wastewater treatment plant uh, project which is $33 million project. I think you folks out there ought to know what's going on. As you can see behind me, they've started the work. Uh, we're going to come back, like I said, and give you some updates. This is uh, quite a project for Brattleboro. It's something that is well overdue and needs to be done. So this is just uh, the first of many installments on uh, what you will see. We'll bring you uh, other uh, updates uh, throughout the uh, process of this so you can see your tax dollars at work. And uh, again, this is just a quick update. Thanks, Roland, and we're going to send it back to you. All right, Daryl, thanks. And uh, we'll be getting more. Uh, of course, Daryl Pillsbury, Joe Bushy, one of uh, BCTV's most prolific producers. So we hope to get them uh, out in the field more often. It's amazing what you can do with a cell phone. Time to head back to the old teleprompter here, or it's the cardboard box, as we like to call it here at BCTV. Um, so that project um, is uh, the proposed end date anyway is August of 2012 and uh, we're going to continue to get updates from Daryl and Joe uh, as construction progresses and I'll be right here on 545 Live and uh, we'll also be posting an in-depth video um, of the plant and its history that was produced by uh, local producer Kathy Erfer um, as long, uh, along with footage from the groundbreaking ceremony and that will all be on our website brattlebrotv.org where we have a whole 545 Live playlist where we'll have um, today's show, every day's show, and then uh, we'll take it a step further and uh, get you more than just the sound bites we have time to play on this show. So again, brattlebrotv.org, and uh, on our video on demand, there's a little playlist called 545, and I'm going to take you uh, on a little uh, journey. You'll get to see the website um, on the screen here in a little bit when we talk uh, BCTV schedule. Um, but we're going to hit a few more news stories before we move on to the calendar. Um, one is that Post Oil Solutions and... Uh, its community partners will pre be presenting a sustainable community task force proposal to the select board next Tuesday. Um, and they'd love to have anyone invested in sustainability, which I know a lot of Brattleboro residents are, show up to support the proposal. Um, and I believe that I've got uh, something fun here from uh, Post Oil Solutions ED, um, Tim Stevenson. Let's see what we got here. The bare outline of the proposal that we will present consists of two parts. One, that the select board appoint a committee to look into the creation of a task force and come back within three to six months with its findings and recommendations. I should add that there are already um, some 600 uh, town and city groups doing just this kind of work. Secondly, that the, second, uh, that the select board endorse a town collaboration with Post Oil Solutions to develop a roadmap for transitioning the community's food sources away from its present heavy reliance on a largely imported fossil fuel dependent uh, system to a community-based food system that is more resilient and sustainable. 
We hope that many of you will join us here at the Select Board meeting room, and if you can, please watch us on BCTV. Thank you. All right, great. Woo, BCTV, of course, you can watch us here. That's on Channel 10. Um, the Select Board meeting begins at 6.15 this coming Tuesday in the Select Board meeting room in the Municipal Center. Um, you can find agenda items for uh, Brattleboro meetings, including that one, at brattleboro.org. Um, and just a few more things to wrap up. Uh, last week, local attorney Jim Maxwell gathered together actors from uh, around town and around the nation in this uh, very studio to, uh, well, I want to say practice. The purpose is to inquire into the, uh, to, to, to explore, learn about the uh, practice of acting, the process of acting, and then in particular also how actors practice over a career. What changes happen in, in an actor's life? How does an actor keep committed to it? Is it possible to stay committed to it? Where, where does the passion go if you've got to go do a day job in order to support yourself and your family? Those are very interesting questions as well. Um, obviously, there's the whole performance aspect of it, but I think we're more interested in what an actor is kind of doing behind the scenes in terms of life and career, and also practice, just like musicians practice. We'll uh, send you away for tonight um, by seeing what's coming up on uh, BCTV today. We'd just like to do a little shameless self-promotion here by checking out our own schedule. Um, and you can find the schedule at the homepage at brattleborotv.org, which is where I am right now. Check it out. So uh, I'm scrolling down to the bottom, and there you can see what's coming up on Channel 8 and Channel 10. There's 545 Live, my God. Um, so that's it. Guess what? 5.45 p.m. Montpelier Connection starts at 7 p.m. tomorrow on Channel 10. And that just so happens to be our featured video of the week. Well, what's the deal with that? Our featured video of the week, which is from Montpelier Connection, produced by uh, Mike Merwicki. He's uh, the Wyndham District 5 representative, and he's been uh, sending us webcasts uh, all through the 2011 legislative season, talking with other legislators to uh, get us some updates, beaming back from the State House via the internet typing machine. Um, he came down into our studio to do a uh, live um, legislative wrap-up show, and uh, that happens to be our featured video, video of the week. This was a uh, uh I think a landmark session in many ways. Uh, it was great to be in the legislature this year for a lot of reasons. Uh, we survived the legislature, we have survived the apocalypse and the rapture, and now here we are back home, and it's, it's great to be back home. There were a lot of bills introduced as usual. We had 571 bills, so if people are wondering why their particular bill didn't get through, you really had to fight the crowd in this one or go with the flow one or the other to um, get some of the things that might have been very important for you through. Some of them rose to the top and most didn't. And that's the way the legislature is. Representative Sarah Edwards, uh, she was joined by Molly Burke, Valerie Stewart, and of course host Mike Merwicki for a legislative wrap up here in Brattleboro. Just a little bit of time left here for me and I'm gonna head on over and do some promotion for WVEW Brattleboro Community Radio and specifically promotion for myself. Um, and so we're gonna talk a little bit about the wildly popular tele uh, radio series, The Climate, a show that I uh, produce myself. And uh, just for fun, we're going to see if we can get uh, my esteemed co-host, um, who goes by the, I'll admit, somewhat ridiculous name, DJ Hot Dog here. What's going on there? Hey, how's it going? Oh, can pretty good. Me? Yeah, we're, we're hearing you. All right, good. That's, that's good to know. So, uh, big guy, uh, you do a, uh, a little a, a contest every week. I mean, we throw a that's lot right. our listeners' way here. Um, when it comes to the climate, we peg it as mm. a tsunami of rock and romance, and uh, that includes uh, live performances, features, contest prizes, and the like. But that contest, underscore, underscore, is really what gets people going. <laughs> and we're oh, actually, yeah. we're going to start this, shockingly, at 6, which means I have to hop in my car following this show, book it back to our underground bunker treehouse studio uh, live remote That's broadcast. Right. 
um, place and uh, send this show out. You're going to be kicking it off for us. But I, I wanted to give sure our television viewers a little sample of what your what your deal is contest wise, big guy. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, about the contest because our listeners, if they tune in to WVEW, which is at WVEW.org, um, between six and seven, they're going to get a chance to pick up a pound of Mocha Joe's Costa Rican fair trade coffee for winning your contest. They sure are. All right, tell us what the deal with this contest is in our precious little time left. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So pretty much what we do every week is we play a song, and if you can guess that song, you call in and you tell us what it is. But, but wait, that's, that's there's no. more. You got to jump through my hoops, yeah, folks. Yeah, Hot you dogs do. hoops. Trademark. Um, <laughs> you 30 got, seconds, I think, or you, one uh, minute or something. You can choose to hear either a backward song, slow motion song, or a song with sections of it bleeped out. And we will play the song like that for Alrighty. you. Let's, uh, I think, quickly, Hot Dog, we, we might even have um, one, of these, one of these little uh, clips here for our listeners Let's out there. Let's get a preview. Uh, why don't we do sure. the slow motion one there, champ? Hot Dog. <laughs> All right, if you think you know what that is and you want some coffee, you got to tune in from 6 to 7 on WVEW right. at WVEW.org, and uh, we'll uh, get you uh, updated. So tune us in, uh, support community media in all regards. Uh, Hot Dog, thanks for checking in with us. i got to wrap oh, this yeah. little show up. Already, no listeners, problem. you've been watching 545 Live here on Brattleboro Community Television, uh, your only television source here in Brattleboro for local news, updates, events, and more. And we're going to be back tomorrow. That's Thursday. At guess what time? 5.45 p.m. And uh, we're going to just try and uh, keep doing it. We'll have more in the field updates, more interviews. Uh, we'll check in with the calendar and our own schedule yet again. It's all coming up, so be sure not to miss it.